German ritual at first, though later adopted by other nations, tankers would paint white rings around the barrel of their gun to show how many vehicles they had knocked out in combat. Later, within the German army it was common practice to paint keel rings on the barrels of tanks, anti-tank and anti-aircraft guns. Traditionally, the mark was a white ring around the barrel of the weapon used to make the kill. Only a threat to the tank earned it a ring was the usual thinking, killing an individual enemy infantryman didn't count. Usually one ring represented one tank, though some tank aces used larger rings for 10 kills each. Kills had to be recorded by the tank commander and verified by the regiment, battalion or company commander. Damaged tanks were not counted. Basically, this was also a way of getting crews to compete competitively with each other. Generally, kill rings started from the muzzle brake in alternate black and white rings up to 10 and then a broader black or white ring was added to the barrel section just in front of the sleeve or on the barrel sleeve in front of the mantle with a 10 numeral on it. The thin kill rings at the muzzle brake were then removed, so that kills above 10 could be recorded. Sometimes also the silhouette of a tank would be painted onto the broader kill rings. Please note that soft skin and artillery PC skills were marked up on the turret left side with a silhouette in white and stick markings up to 10, then the number painted on underneath. Mobile artillery counted as a tank kill and thus gained a main barrel kill ring. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support my channel on PayPal. Details in the description box.